Hello friends, today we will orient you to the aptitude test named as Tamanna. As we know, individual variations are common within and across all species in terms of their physical characteristics such as height, weight, strength, their hair color and so on. Individuals are also vary along psychological dimensions such as their interest, ability, personality, motivation, etc. Each of these aspects play different role in the success of an individual's life. A number of factors such as their interest, attitude, motivation and personality traits and special abilities known as aptitude influence the decision of students in their selecting stream or career choice. Different occupations need different sets of abilities. For example, to be a successful architect, one requires a set of abilities such as a keen sense of observation, a sense of visual memory, an ability to sketch freehand, etc. A student having these sets of abilities has an advantage and is likely to perform well in his occupation. Thus, knowing one's aptitude may help her or him to make informed career choices which are educational and occupational. Let us now understand how knowledge of a student's aptitude helps in different areas and decisions. It helps to guide students in selecting course of study, to locate career areas or fields in which a student would be most likely to do well, to anticipate or predict future potential of a student, also in understanding why some children who are extremely well in one subject is not doing well in another, as well as educational and vocational guidance. Now, let us see what this aptitude test Tamanna is all about. This aptitude test has one test booklet which has seven subtests, guide for the teachers which tells how teachers should use this test and a manual where you can find all the details of how the test has been developed, standardization, norms, etc. Now, let us see the first subtest which is language aptitude. Language aptitude is the ability to draw meaning from written words and use them effectively. Language aptitude subtest is divided into three sections which measure the student's ability to know. Let us see one of the example. Language aptitude has meaning of words for example, memorable which has four options, the student has to select the right one. Second is the correct spelling example is given and after four options, the child has to choose which one is the right one. The third, the correct meaning of proverb or idioms, for example, cry over spilled milk. Out of four options, the student has to select which one is the right one. Language aptitude helps and is required some of the following courses and occupations such as English, social sciences, teaching, journalism and media studies, advertising, law, library sciences, etc. Now, we will see the second subtest which is abstract reasoning is the ability to understand patterns, diagrams or designs and draw meaning from them. It reveals how well a student can reason, extract rules, find underlying logic in the pattern of symbols or shapes. In abstract reasoning subtest, each item consists of a set of figures or patterns which are in a logical or certain sequence. The student is asked to find the next figure or pattern in the same series. It is a non-verbal subtest which means it does not have the language. Let us see one of the example. As you can see on the screen, abstract reasoning, we have given the example, there is a problem figure and answer figure. In problem figure, four boxes are there. In four boxes, you will see one small figure with the dot. The dot is moving from left bottom, then bottom right and right up. Now, the student has to select which one will come in the next logical sequence from the answer figures given in the example. Abstract reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as mathematics, economics, physics, chemistry, computer science, biotechnology, 
कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग आर्किटेक्चर मेडिसिन मैकेनिक्स फोरेंसिक साइंस एट्सेट्रा नाउ विल सी द थर्ड सब टेस्ट विच इज वर्बल रीजनिंग इज द एबिलिटी टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग एंड आइडियाज फ्रेम्ड इन वर्ड्स और द रिटर्न इंफॉर्मेशन इन वर्बल रीजनिंग सब टेस्ट द इंडिविजुअल इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड the relationship between paired words and apply it to other relationships let us see one of the example as you can see in the slide example x water is to tank as money is to dash now the student has to select out of four option which one will be the right one spend bank gold manager as we store water into tank money has to go into bank so this is the logical relationship example why dash is to red as earth is to dash mars is known is red earth is blue so the right option is a mars and blue verbal reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations languages social sciences science psychology journalism business law public relations marketing advertising linguistics administrative services etc now look at the fourth sub test which is called mechanical reasoning it is the ability to apply reasoning in the practical environment using basic concepts in mechanics in mechanical reasoning sub test items are related to acceleration pressure energy transformation work and power levers pulleys screws springs tools etc let us see one of the example as you can see mechanical reasoning example x a wooden block is pushed upwards by applying force as shown in figure a b and c in which figure the force needed to be applied would be maximum the student has to select out of four option which one is the correct one figure a figure b figure c or equal force in all the situations mechanical reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations physics chemistry engineering and other technical skill oriented occupations such as carpentry masonry plumbing etc now look at the fifth sub test which is numerical aptitude which is the ability to perform mathematical operations quickly and correctly numerical aptitude sub test involves primary arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division and other mathematical operations like ratio percentage square and square root for example as you can see on this slide numerical aptitude we have given example x what will come in place of question mark in the following question if you add 4656 to 1244 what will be the right answer option a b c or d let's see another example why what is the value of 5 times of square of 2 option a 10 b 20 c 4 d 16 numerical aptitude helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as mathematics economics accountancy computer sciences statistics engineering architecture computer applications etc let us see the sixth sub test which is special aptitude which is the ability to imagine an object in space and decide how will it look like when rotated in a given direction in special aptitude sub test the student is asked to identify how the figure will look like when seen through a mirror or rotated or when folded in a particular way let us see one of the example as you can see on this slide special aptitude example find out which option a b c and d 
from the answer figure has parts that can make the problem figure. If you see on your left hand side there is a box given and we have four options A, B, C and D. Which option from the answer figure completes the problem figure that a student has to find out. Special aptitude helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations visual and performing arts, geometry, geography, drafting, architecture, astronomy, animation, designing, photography, etc. Now, we will look at the 7th subtest perceptual aptitude. It is the ability to compare visual information like letters, numbers or combination of letters and numbers quickly and accurately. In perceptual aptitude subtest, student is asked to compare the paired groups of letters or numbers or combination of letter and numbers and identify the similarity or difference. For example, let us see the example for perceptual aptitude. There is one number given in bold letters which is 3, 9, 4, 6, 1, 0, 8, 4. We have four options given A, B, C and D. Out of four options, one option is carrying all the numbers in correct sequence. The student has to select which one is the right option. Perceptual aptitude helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as data entry operations, clerical and secretaryship, assembly work, banking, proof reading, computer programming, record keeping, accountancy, etc. As a principle, before conducting the test, kindly ensure that teachers should become familiar with the test manual and take the test themselves before administering it to the students in order to understand it better. Teachers should be well versed with the standardized instructions which include the exact materials used, time limit, oral instructions to students, preliminary demonstrations, ways of handling queries from the students and other possible details of the testing situations. Teachers should also review specific directions and procedures one last time immediately before the test begins. Teachers should explain the purpose of the test to students to minimize the cheating and bringing out the best of the individual students. Do proper invigilation, show non-threatening verbal and non-verbal behavior which help to increase the student's interest in the test. Elicit their cooperation and encourage them to respond in a manner appropriate to the objectives of the test. Teachers should also follow the instructions as fully and meticulously as they can. Emphasize that to know their strength, students have to attempt as many questions as possible within the time limit and honestly. However, there is no pass or fail in this test. As a principle, before organizing the test, ensure the appropriate time place such as schedule the test when students are likely to be fresh and alert, which is most probably in the morning. Do not test during lunch or play time. Do not schedule immediately after holidays or exciting events. Testing room should be free from undue noise and distraction. Rooms should have adequate lighting and ventilation. Comfortable sitting facilities such as left-handed accommodations, desk for writing, etc. for the students. There should be clock visible to all students. Follow the proper time given for each subtest. Very important is to assure teachers and students that there is no prior preparation required for the test. On behalf of the students, as the test captures the students innate potential rather than the learned knowledge. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.